Hello everyone, it's Annabelle. I wanted to do a quick unboxing of the scroller box that I received last month. It is not part of a subscription, I just paid for one box, and mainly because I wanted to try out Posca markers. Uh, it's a huge thing right now. <laughs> so I just picked this one box and um, wanted to show everybody what I got and do a little piece of art with it. For those of you who don't know about the Scrawler box, it's a monthly subscription box filled with art supplies and you get to choose your term, your subscription term. So you can choose one month, three months, six months, or 12 months, and they send it to you every month in the mail. I chose the Posca marker ones, which it, it comes with Posca markers, a pencil, a pen, and some marker paper. Uh, and of course this piece of lovely uh, Airheads-ish candy, which uh, by the way was delicious. So I chose this one because even though I, I've had Posca markers in the past, um, I never used them for um, like art, art per se. I just use them for crafts. Uh, I think I had to color on somebody's cooler at one point or their um, camp bag. I don't know, their camp box. That, that was a thing back then. I don't know. So uh, I wanted to try out some new markers. And of course, I love these colors together. And I wanted to also get the paper with it. So I just kind of wanted a kit. I didn't want to have to buy a big set of Posca markers because they're kind of expensive. So this was kind of the next best thing. So this paper was actually pretty great. It didn't pill very much whenever I was using the markers on it. Uh, it also came with this pencil. It's a, you know, the standard Staedtler 2B pencil which is a little soft but not too soft so it's kind of perfect for sketching and then of course the Faber-Castell pit pen in size 0.6 you can never have too many pit pens uh, they go great with watercolor because they're waterproof so these are the colors that they gave me and they work great together so I was very happy about the color choices and I couldn't decide on what to do for, I had to think and think and think, but of course, by my feet, which you can't see, is my dog, Weezer, and I decided to draw him because he has the cutest slash ugliest um, face. <laughs> he has a bunch, he's a pug and he has a bunch of wrinkles and I just love him, so um, that's what I decided to do. So this is me sketching him out with that Staedtler pencil to be that was in the box. And this is one of my own erasers. They didn't give us an eraser, but uh, I have plenty. So it's just a standard, probably a Staedtler um, white eraser, which worked great on this paper because the paper was really smooth. And here I am with the pit pen going over my lines once I have the sketch fleshed out. I've let the ink dry so that I can erase all of my um, pencil marks. Make sure you do that because you don't want to smear the ink. And I'm going to lay down my first um, color. And of course it was difficult to take the wrapping off so I had to pull out my trusty Kalashnikov 74 um, donut sprinkle knife <laughs> to open them up, but um, it didn't take very long. Also know that these are the type of markers where you have to depress the tip in order for the uh, the paint to, to come out. So that's what I'm having to do with each one of them. Um, so here's my first color with the purple. And I'm not, I'm not making like a real conscious decision about where or why I'm putting these colors there, but I generally with every piece of artwork start with shadows. So um, this is one of my darker colors. Um, and so I'm, that's my trend of thought as I'm thinking about the shadows in, in his face and in his fur for the darkest color. And then I'm gonna work my way up.
I do want to point out that these aren't like blocks of color. They are lines and I'm trying to go in the same direction as his fur to make it uh, look more like fur or hair. Since the paint pens are opaque, uh, I went over some of those lines, my black lines, so now I'm gonna have to go back over with my pit pen to darken them back up. I'm adding a couple more lines to um, make it look like uh, it's furrier than it was, just because those thin lines kinda add that, um, that detail. Um, also, I didn't use the black or the white Posca marker because I didn't think it was needed. Um, I, I do want to add that the Posca markers are the medium nibs, but the black Posca marker is thinner. So it would be fine to line with the black Posca marker, but I thought the pit pen was better. I turned the finished result into some stickers for my patrons for April. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a Patreon and you can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching.